Hello again. So now that you know a little bit about frankincense, we're gonna do a DIY that uses frankincense. We're actually gonna make a DIY salve. Um, so a salve can be customized depending on what essential oils you add to it. Um, you could make something for your face, you know, to use on your face to help with like uh, lines around your eyes. You could make a salve for wounds to put on scrapes and cuts. You could make a salve for like a vapor rub that you can rub on your chest of um, your children or yourself. Um, you could do that. You could make an all, just an all over skin lotion, like a body butter. You could do that. Cuticle cream, diaper cream, um, or a sunscreen. I'm actually gonna do half and half. The batch actually makes quite a bit. So I'm gonna put half of it in this container and then the other half in another container. And I'll explain how I'm gonna make that into a sunscreen. So um, the ingredients would be, you need a half a cup of grapeseed oil and a half a cup of almond oil. And I don't have either of those, so I'm gonna do some substituting and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use. So I'm just gonna use a half a cup of my regular cooking coconut oil and um, it will work out fine um, to substitute. So I get this at Sam's Club and you can get it at most grocery stores now coconut oil. Um, I'm also going to use a half a cup of almond oil. So those are the two I'm going to substitute for the grapeseed um, and almond oil. And then it takes two tablespoons of beeswax. And I typically get my beeswax at um, Amazon or Vitacost. Um, I think I got this at Amazon. So you just get the little pellet or Pastels, pastels, or however you pronounce it. I just get the organic beeswax, little pellets. They're like little tiny chocolate chips. Okay, so I have pre-melted those three ingredients. So I'm gonna get that off the stove right now. And the way I melted it is I put it into a measuring cup so I could actually measure as I go to keep from dirtying as many dishes. <laughs> I like to do that. So um, I just added in my beeswax until it melted up to the two tablespoon line, which is actually uh, it's actually an eighth of a cup. Yeah, so it's it's like like very just a little or yeah, an eighth of a cup. So I put the beeswax in, melted that down, and I actually had to add a little bit more. That when you measure the beeswax with a tablespoon. It doesn't measure out the same as when it's a liquid. So make sure you measure the two tablespoons melted beeswax. Then I added my coconut oil. Now I'm going to add my avocado oil because I have not added that yet. So that's a little warm. Um, so I'm going to add, whoops, I'm not going to be able to hold that. So I'm gonna add a half a cup of avocado oil. And actually when it all measures out, it's like a, it's like a, yeah, that's fine. Um, it's like about a cup and a eighth because of that beeswax. Okay, so I'm stirring this up really, really well. And then it asks for, a half a tablespoon of vitamin E oil. So I'm putting that in now and I'm just gonna eyeball it. My vitamin E oil, I usually get off Amazon or Vitacost. Um, so I'm just gonna eyeball about a half a tablespoon. This is actually a tablespoon, oops, measuring stick. So I'm just gonna slide that in there. And I'm using this little wood wouldn't stick to make it easier to clean up but I just splattered a little bit out <laughs> so stir that in stir it in really well it's, as you can see it's starting to actually gel up a little bit on the edges so you have to work kind of quickly so we're going to stir this up really well I'm going to add part of it into this little jar this is going to be my um, like body butter or salve for my like after shower body butter. 
Um, and then I, the oils, the essential oils I'm gonna use are lavender, frankincense, and cypress. So it calls for 25 drops of oils. So I'm gonna do half of that. So I'm gonna go with about 23 total fingers. 23 drops total. So I'm gonna do about eight drops of each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of lavender. And you're gonna learn more about lavender tomorrow or I think later today. Um, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight drops of frankincense. Actually, I think I'm a little bit over on the drops, but it's okay. I'm gonna put like three drops of cypress. One, two, three. So I'm adding cypress because, um, well, I'm adding these oils because for my skin, I know that frankincense is really, really nice for my skin, as you learned earlier. Um, and as you'll learn later, lavender is actually fabulous for your skin too. So I know that just as an after shower body butter spread, it'll be fabulous for my skin. Um, and cypress is really good for circulation. So it's really good for the circulatory system. Um, it helps, it just helps with or vascular system. So it helps with circulation. And I just figured I can always use that. <laughs> um, so I'm adding that. Plus it's really nice for the skin as well, Cypress is. So I'm adding that. And basically that is it for this. Then you'll put the lid on and you could always decorate it with a pretty ribbon of some sort, and you could actually gift this. This would be a very pretty gift for just a thank you gift or just to be nice. <laughs> so it could be a gift for someone, it would be very nice. Um, so the rest of it, I'm actually not gonna do it now because I don't have my container ready, but I've actually got quite a bit left. So I am actually going to add some zinc oxide to that, to this batch, zinc oxide, because zinc oxide actually puts a barrier um, for your skin as far as protecting it from the sun. And you can get zinc oxide probably off of Amazon, but I think I got this from a local pharmacy a couple of years ago when I was making some sunscreen. So I figured that I'm gonna get ready for the summer and make some more. Um, so yeah, you can definitely get that off of Amazon. So I will just probably add like about two tablespoons of zinc oxide to that and just stir it up, mix it in real well, put it in another jar and that will be my sunscreen. Um, so I'm gonna post some information on different other carrier oils that you can use because basically I use the coconut and the avocado as my base or carrier, but I will post below later on um, a photo of a chart that tells about what what carrier oils are good for what types of skin. So I think that'll be helpful for you. So and have some fun with your DIYs and I hope you consider making this. Have a great day.